All right, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. So I have some interesting information here. I'm gonna to try to get into it as quickly as possible. So what we're looking at on the screen, I started this kind of journey yesterday, but we have here is a 605 and 606 disclosures from Citadel, okay? And basically what those are is the SEC have, has a rule known as rule 605 and 606 that make market centers and market makers that trade NMS securities, so national market system securities, which AMC is one, it's pretty much all securities that we see like in uh, major indexes, et cetera, et cetera, are required to make available to the public monthly electronic reports that include uniform statistical measures of execution quality, okay? So this is from Citadel's market making branch. Now, when you download the files, so you, you can see all of the monthly reports you can download you'd click and you download them by any one of these links you can see it goes pretty far back there's a lot of them so you have 606 and you have 605 605 is where we're starting but anyways we have this is what one of the reports looks like when you get it okay and so i highlighted all the amc stuff here but you can see that there's this data is difficult to read and i was going through trying to find some example examples on how to read this header and I actually found a formal complaint that somebody issued with the SEC that says in this example that in the use this as an example and they say in this example there's no header information for the respective columns so one is left to guess guess what each column means furthermore there is no explanation of what any of the figures mean in any meaningful context or this is a prime example of how disclosures can be designed to be absolutely meaningless for the vast majority of users so that's where I was at. Um, posted this on Twitter and then some fine apes helped find some hidden, I shouldn't say it's hidden, but it was buried deep information um, that gave me kind of a, a key it was in a, in a document. So what we then did is we took the um, document and basically made a key out of it. So let me show you that. So thanks to Matt for Matt R3232 for helping me find the key. But what we've done now is we've basically taking, taken all of these rules. So each uh, version of the rule or each number in the rule set, I was able to put a number to. So number one up here is down here, right? Number two is and so forth and so on. So as we're going through and we started looking through and all of this data is important, but what we really started to key in on was the canceled order. So we have number field number nine and it, so field nine means on the, the you know this 605 report means that the file shall be the cumulative number of shares of covered orders canceled prior to execute execution so prior to execution meaning that the broker and i was able to verify this with dave lauer so the broker at this point is canceling the order um, and now what Dave said to me was that this looks like, and this is, you can read this here. My understanding is that the canceled orders here refers to orders that were submitted by the broker to the wholesaler, likely non-marketable limit orders, which the client then canceled before they could be executed. Um, so I asked him in this client, would the, in this case, would the client be the broker? And he said, yes, the broker is nothing more than a pipe that orders passes through. A retail investor trader enters a limit order. The broker sells that order to the wholesaler, but before the wholesaler can fill the trade, the retail investor trade or slash the retail investor or trader slash cancels it. So then I question him and say, so obviously they're combining orders to get to the 36 million and that 36 million number we're going to get to here in a second um, in the example listed. I haven't done my comparison yet. We're going to be doing that today. But does that seem like a normal amount, high amount, low amount? Seems odd for retail to cancel, you know, a 30, 36 million orders over November. To me, on the outside looking in, and this is why I'm trying to get educated on this, it looks like spoofing. So he says, yes, these are aggregate uh, numbers for the entire month. Hard to evaluate a single number out of context, which he's right. Probably best to look at it as a percentage relative to how many shares are executed. Got it. Thank you. So here's where shit gets interesting. So what we've start what we've, now what we have here is we have Citadel's orders canceled prior to execution and we have Virtue's orders canceled prior to execution. Now Citadel is definitely canceling a lot more orders, but we compared these to AMC, GME, CNK, Google, 
WBD and so forth on, and we did this on both Citadel and Virtu. Okay, and what's really interesting is you have AMC, which crushes orders canceled prior to execution. So that means that we're saying for, because we're looking at the month of November here, then the month of November, 36 million retail orders were canceled by the broker, right? So that's number one, that's abnormal to me. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But then when you compare it to GameStop, okay, GameStop's a smaller float, but still pretty high amount, 17 million. GameStop's only shy of 20 million from Google. So Google only had 20 million execute uh, orders that were actually canceled. So that we go and we can look over on Virtu and we see that AMC is more than Google there too. So is GameStop. GameStop's very high on Virtu. But so we're are we saying that all of these retail orders are getting canceled that's a lot of retail orders right that are getting canceled so i just think that there's some there's more to this and what's really really nice is we have our boy saint right here saint snap and then i've also got my boy that helped me matt they're going to work on building a program that takes this data be, um, basically so we're not having to look through month month by month the data that we're finding for AMC here is compiled with every other stock in the stock market. And it's very hard to read. All the data looks like, um, let me show you, all of the data that looks like it before we kind of break it down looks like this, right? So it's very, it's gonna be a, a process, but we're looking at building some programs that can kind of read this data. But anyways, going back to this, so we have, be combining AMC on with Citadel and Virtu, there's more um, canceled orders, like two times more than Google, right? So that's that's weird in nature, being that AMC is you know nowhere near the size of Google, and then you see this on GameStop as well. So then my boy Saint took this a step further because he didn't add an ape. So boom. Then he pulls an ape. So Citadel orders canceled prior to execution. And then you have an astronomical number. There's 73 million orders that were canceled prior to execution. I mean, that seems crazy abnormal to me. And so for me, like I said, this is, you know, I think that Dave is really smart and I respect what he says about this, which is, and he didn't say it's not happening. He just says, hey, we need to look at more data. But to me, this looks like, you know, you're spoofing, like these orders are there. That's all, you know, buying power that I guess if they're market, if they're limit orders, I guess I get it. But um, I just can't see 73 million apes canceling their orders, right? And so if we're saying that this is retail that's doing this, that's, you know, that's insane. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about this. We have interesting data here. We're building out a key to look at it. You can already look at the data with the key that I built here, okay? Um, on my Twitter profile, this this key will work. It's just you're gonna be doing everything manual. So you're gonna have to take the reports and obviously look, okay, so number one is number one. Number two is number two, and you'll have to break it down that way, which can be a little bit of a pain, right? So we have um, some interesting, interesting information. I don't know if Citadel's front running. I'm not saying that they are or they aren't. Um, this just looks highly suspicious to me. But anyways, um, I hopefully, if you guys are interested more on this, you can go, I pinned the tweet, which has a whole thread for all the data that we've talked about it, surrounding this in that whole entire thread. So you can follow me on Twitter or you don't even have to follow me. You can just go to my Twitter and you can see that. Um, and I will be following up on this as we get some, uh, some sort of program that can read this um, Excel data quickly and we can push a lot of information into it. Anyways. Take care. Love you long time. Peace.